Erdogan serenaded a massive gathering outside his residence after winning the Turkey presidential elections. As the runoff result was announced, the streets of the capital of Ankara were a kaleidoscope of Turkish flags, blaring car horns and cheering Erdogan supporters. Erdogan has defeated his opponent and returned to office for a third term, a record of 20 plus years as president. With almost all of the votes counted, Erdogan received over 50% of the votes in the second round of polls. In his victory speech, he spoke of massive inflation rates. It is important to note that experts have called this month-long campaign in Turkey as one of the most bitterly fought election campaigns in the country's recent history. Now we have a real resentful youth. I look at the people around me who were supporting the opposition and all of them are resentful. We forgot about the spring in this country. We have to make our own spring because the people seem to be happy with winter. There's nothing to do. I think it was an unjust election because the country is in a bad situation. I pray to God that he is going to be good for everyone. We had a different candidate in our hearts, someone who could really lead this country but didn't work out. Let's hope for the best. It has been calculated that Mr. Recep Tayyip received 52.14% of all the votes and Mr. Kemal received 47.86%. It has been determined that the results will not change even if the 809,000, the 0.20% of the votes which have not been entered into the system yet, go to one of the candidates as a whole. As a result of the initial results, we confirm that Mr. Recep was elected as the President of the Republic of Turkey. Tayyip Erdogan is staying on as President of Turkey after winning the runoff presidential election on Sunday with just over 52% of the vote. It was seen as the toughest political challenge yet to his increasingly authoritarian rule, now set to enter its third decade. Speaking to supporters outside his home in Istanbul before the final results were released, he said Turkey is the only winner today. Thousands of jubilant Erdogan supporters celebrated in Turkey's streets. We are very happy. We think Erdogan deserved to win. That was what had to happen. There couldn't have been another leader in this country. Russian President Vladimir Putin congratulated his, quote, dear friend on his victory. The election was seen as one of the most consequential yet for Turkey. The opposition believed it had a strong chance of unseating Erdogan after his popularity was hit by a cost-of-living crisis. Challenger Kamal Kılıçdaroğlu called it the most unfair election in years, but did not dispute the outcome. Erdogan, who is the head of the Islamist-rooted AK party, appealed to voters with nationalist and conservative rhetoric. His record includes having redrawn domestic, economic, security and foreign policy in the NATO member country of 85 million people. The prospect of five more years of his rule is a major blow to opponents who accuse him of undermining democracy as he has amassed even more power, a charge he denies.